All you Cobra fans have asked for it, and today we're delivering. It's the Cobra LTD-X and LTD-X LS drivers versus the new Titleist TSR2 and TSR3. Tom was with the shots, and we'll break down all the data for you. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like the video, and you leave some more of those comments. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Danny Farrell and Thomas Campbell out on the driving range. And speaking of those comments, guys, <laughs> uh, so we recently put together videos comparing, well, we did a bunch of stuff on the new TSR drivers, right, yeah. Titleist. And one of the uh, most common critiques, if you will, was that we didn't include Cobra LTDX in those comparisons. And if you remember back to the beginning of the year, LTDX, that series of drivers was perhaps the best performing early on in 2022. So. Mm -hmm. We got to include it in a test today. We're out here. We've got both of the LTDX and the LTDX LS against the TSR2 and TSR3. So we're going to make sure it's done today. So Danny, <laughs> uh, first talk to me about the Cobra drivers, LTDX and LS. Absolutely. It's it's not one that gets asked for a lot in fittings, yeah. but when you do put it in play, it sure does deliver too. Yeah. So a lot of different finish or color options for players that seem to fit their ride right. too. What I'm really interested in is we saw great things with Titleist in terms of spin management on off-center hits as well. Mm -hmm. What I really want to see is how does Cobra stack up against the mix? Mm -hmm. You know, in both TSR2 versus LTD Max, TSR3 versus LTD XLS. Mm -hmm. So should be a good test right. today. Yeah, and I think you mentioned it's not one that gets asked too often in fittings. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, talking about our, our fitting process, yeah. we test two or four head, two to four heads against each other yeah. before we kind of start testing some different golf shafts. Right. In a driver fitting, you've got an hour. Once you start hitting more and more heads and different combinations, mm -hmm. then you're going to get fatigued. You're right. not going to get the best out of the fitting. So that's where it comes down to a conversation of you know, who we're fitting, what they what they want to test, and what we're seeing working well in the fitting bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and remember, price point's a little bit different too, right? So we got to bring that up. In the comparison, you know, budget-wise, that's a big concern for some players, especially with the market getting taller and taller in terms right. of how much these drivers cost nowadays. So. We're going to get into it. Thomas is going to hit the shots. We're going to go over the data. Hey, we delivered this video just for you guys. <laughs> so let's get into it. That is a towering ball flight, though. A little extra ball speed there. Word. It's a little Healy. A little Healy? Okay. 148 smash, Healy. 2800 spin. Ooh, 31. That one might have a chance for the longest. That's definitely. Find out though. That's your highest ball speed of the. If the, the spin test. stays you down, you think it would. Yep. All right, so Thomas, LTD X and TSR2. Uh, first, you got them both in your hand. Give me your thoughts on the look and feel of each. I know they have pretty, I would say, drastically different appearances in terms of you got the different crown, uh, the face stuff, it looks different too at a dress. So looking here at the two of them, first thing, the TSR2. Seems like it's a little smaller from heel to toe. The Cobra LTD X from heel to toe just looks a little bit longer. But then we switch sizes when it comes to from the top, from the top of the club to the to the bottom, so the crown to the bottom. It's a little bit narrower with the Cobra. It's a little deeper with the with sure. the tight list. And then kind of flip the flip it around. I kind of notice that the Cobra's got more weight, kind of pushed back. It's a little long, elongated to the back. Yep. While the TSR2 is just a little bit more rounded, a little bit more compact. It looks like. Okay, so then talk about quick feel and then we'll, you know, from what I saw, you, you, whatever reason, and this happened in the earlier tests too, TSR, you couldn't just, that, that two, for whatever reason, turning it over, just, you, you can't really do it as well. Yeah. Um, and I noticed that in this test as well, but um, the LTDX was a little straighter, but you were getting more speed with the TSR. It's, it's interesting to know because now this is a couple of times where I've done some testing where I've had to actually feel like I'm strengthening my grip a little bit. Yeah with the Titleist TSR2. It seems harder for me to turn over. Yeah. Okay. Um, which 
sometimes the good thing means I can go after a little harder and know that I can maybe eliminate the left side. Right. Um, you would notice, however, even though the ball was going to the right, it was very consistent. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was it was straight. It wasn't curving much. It was just a little yeah. push to me. So I found that interesting. The way that this particular head sits, it's more of a little little anti pull for me, right. which is which is nice. Uh, LTDX. The last swing I did hit left, and I think a couple of them were a little bit straighter overall. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, Danny, you got the numbers here. Let's mm -hmm. talk uh, specifics here in terms of difference. And well, I know one thing you wanted to really mention with Titus was the spin retention and how right. consistent that was. But then also let's, we got to talk about distance too. Absolutely. So I just want to preface the video. Both of these were at nine degrees. The other drivers coming up later in the video will also be at nine degrees as well. Um, Forty-five inches in length, and we've got the tensi. Um, Tensai White 65X in Cobra, and we've got the new Tensai 1K Black 65X as well. So very, very similar in the overall build yeah. process with them. Um, but you know, looking through data, you brought up the Cobra felt a little bit lighter as soon as you picked it up. Okay. Yep. Your club speed did jump up a little bit, but ball speed was actually slower than where we were with Titleist. So we we're less efficient. Yeah. Okay. So 150 efficiency with TSR2, which we've seen time and time again. Yeah. The miss hits across the face a little bit more consistent. And Tidal's actually launched a little bit higher too, which we probably noticed. You probably noticed watching the ball flight as well. Yep. So almost two degrees higher off the right out of the gates. And Tidal's also spun it a little bit lower, even though it worked more left right. to right. That's what really impresses me mm -hmm. is being able to hit a cut or work the ball left to right and still get 293.3 carry wise and the consistency on that was under two yards yeah under two yards on a fade and yes you hit cobra a little bit straighter but launch was a little bit lower spin was a little bit higher so between the two we were seven yards further in the air with tsr2 and we were seven yards out the back door as well hmm. okay so again Consistency, consistency, consistency with TSR. Right. So, and we're talking about ball flight here a little bit too. We have both of these set at the upright setting already. That's true. Yeah. In my, in my gamer, I play my driver upright, mm -hmm. so I really don't have much more to get to get that thing going left, <laughs> right. other than getting that find a way to get that club face to rotate over a little right. more mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. So mm -hmm. between the two, it looks like kind of general observations. TSR two was really consistent in all the metrics in yes. terms of regardless of how Thomas swung it. Really, maybe it's a little bit more of a block right. Uh, or maybe it was a straighter ball. We got, we got the consistent spin and mm -hmm. distance. Cobra ended up being a little straighter. Hey, Thomas was able to turn that thing over just a little bit more for those golfers that maybe do have that slice once in a while up here. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a, an answer there to avoid that far right miss. But they definitely have their advantage, advantages and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Now we got to quickly let's preview the TSR3 versus the LTD XLS. Uh, the, the LS from Cobra was a bomber early, yes. in, early in the year in testing, so I'm very excited about this one. Yeah, the Cobra LTX LS is probably one of the top testers for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I would be surprised if there's seven yards separation. I don't think right. it's going to be that much. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're going to be pretty close in numbers. But hey, we'll find out here pretty soon by hitting some shots. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Spin stays down. It's gonna be, yeah, it's a good ball. Oh yeah, 295 carry. Oh yeah. Turn that guy over. I might hit the pole. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost. Okay. We've got a new king. Yeah. Had a feeling about that one. New king in total distance for the test. LTD XLS took one swing. That one's also roasted. Wow. Oh yeah. I'll give you a better one. That is going to North Dakota. All right, so Thomas, now the low spin models, the LTDX LS TSR3. Um, give me your first your thoughts on the look and feel after hitting both of them. Yeah, I mean, TSR3 has got that beautiful rounded pear shaped look to it. Um, LTDX LS still looks a little larger looking down at it. I know they're both 460 cc's, yeah. but it, it, just the way it's shaped. Um, 
it is a little bit more higher from the from the crown to the bottom of the yeah. club with this versus the LTD X. Okay. Uh, I think that changes the spin profile a little bit for me and liking the taller face drivers there okay. too. But um, looking down at the two of them at address here, I know that the CCs are 460 with both both of them, but the Cobra does look a little larger. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Danny, you got the numbers. Um, I just from watching from afar, I noticed it seemed like the Cobra was going a little lower, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it, I don't know. It seemed like it also was having you know, easier time drawing that thing, turning it back right to left versus the Titleist once again. So, wonder if the numbers shake out the the same way. Yeah. So looking at the numbers, it was consistent with both Cobra on on its own versus Titleist on its own. What I mean by that is club head speed first. So Cobra, you did swing a little bit faster both times. Yeah. Okay. But both times, ball speed wasn't as fast, or arguably the LTD XLS 0.2 miles an hour faster. Yeah. But two miles an hour more club speed with only that kind of gain in yeah. terms of ball speed means we're going to be less efficient. Right. And we saw that both times with Cobra with you as well. Yeah. And so, that's important to revert back to that smash factor number, that efficiency number. We're seeing 148 versus 149150 with Titleist. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. ball speed retention, mm -hmm. I would still give the check mark to TSR yep. so yep. far. So far. Uh, but, you know, Drew, you brought up a good point with LTD XLS. That was the lowest launching driver of the day. Yeah. Okay. So it definitely won that category. It was also the most consistent window it was starting to go out at, too. Yeah. So that's interesting to note. Now, spin-wise between LTDX and LTDX LS was about 400 RPMs different. LTDX spun a little bit lower, more weight forward in the head as well. So looking at TSR and LTDX LS, um, spin was only 27 RPMs different. Really? But the king being LTDX LS. In terms of low spin? Yes, a little bit lower, but Titleist yeah. was more consistent on yeah. the spin rate. Right. So I do want you to bring up the hit location because I can tell you when I was hitting the LTD XLS, mm -hmm. felt like I was just slightly high heel when I, when I was hitting that. When I was in the TSR3, it seemed like it was in the middle most, most of the time. Okay. So I think that's important to bring that up there too. And so I find it interesting with LTD XLS, a little more on the heel, but the spin rate was to 27 RPMs less than the TSR3. Mm -hmm. Right. So yes, the LTD X LS is a low spinner, mm -hmm. lower trajectory. I mean, it's it's up there with regards to testing numbers this year for sure. It's, Absolutely, it's performed really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and looking at impact, I've got that up now. And yeah, we're three millimeters in the heel, so almost a full dimple, but still having the spin nice and low. That's a good sign from Cobra as well, right? right? right. So they're on par, right up there with Titleist as well. But three millimeters in the heel, nine millimeters high with Cobra, switching the TSR three zero millimeters off the center east and west on the head <laughs> three millimeters high it's pretty good okay yeah. so he's, he's, he's putting some good swings on it yeah and what i love about the tsr is you actually get that feedback on where you hit it let me borrow it out yeah I mean, i'm gonna walk right up to the camera and show you guys check <laughs> this out i mean look at that you can tell <laughs> track man says right in the middle face verification is definitely there wow so overall, Cobra was still the distance king. Okay, we did see a 320 come out from Cobra as well. Yeah, right. But on average, it was 0.1 yards further than TSR3 <laughs> and 1.1 yards further out the back door. So just a slightly a little bit further, yeah. but it was more consistent on how fly, far it was flying. Okay. TSR had six yards of variance and um, Cobra LTD XLS had 2.9, okay. so about in half. So we noticed a difference with TSR2 versus LTDX a little bit there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was, you know, we had a, a noticeable difference on the dispersion map and in the numbers, but right. it, the, in terms of distance, there wasn't much right. for the LTDX LS and the TSR3, those low spin heads performed very similarly. Right. right. You called yeah. that. We've seen that in the, in the test when we tested the Callaway mm -hmm. Rogue ST Max LS. Yep. We tested the TSR3 and we tested the Stealth Plus. Yeah. Right. The numbers were basically identical. Yeah. Well, now we add in the Cobra, the numbers are almost basically identical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these top of the line, these low spin drivers for people that fit into them you've got some great options yep. you got four really really good options Absolutely. including Cobra yeah. right. so we can't exclude Cobra yeah. mm -hmm. and different price points too right we got to remember that and factor that in a driver a little bit cheaper than where we are with TSR but de delivering similar results 
you know, as yep. long as it feels good and performs right. good for a player, it may be a great option. I see a lot more Cobra options coming into the fitting bay right. probably after this video for sure. Right. Oh yeah, and I think one thing too you gotta talk about, adjustability with TSR3, future video on that coming out. Yep. The, the options you have in addition to the Sherford hosel. Yes. Um, so it is, you know, we talk about looking and feel how important that is, but yep. in terms of the numbers and the data with Thomas's swinging, a lot of similarities in the performance between you know, the low spin heads out there uh, that are most popular so far, I'd say here towards the end of 2022. So um, I think that kind of wraps things up today. We, we again, with a lot of demand for this video, yes. a lot of demand <laughs> to get Cobra in this test. We've got it here today. Viewers, tell us what you think about the results today of the test in the comments. Make sure if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and like the video. And thank you all for watching. We will see you next time on the channel with probably another really in-depth comparison. Thank you.